Hey guys, and welcome into the garage, and welcome back to the bench. Today we have a new product to check out from Scale Finishes, and it is the new one ounce gloss enamel hardener for his gloss enamel paint system. So we'll be doing a test and see how well this new gloss enamel hardener works with his gloss enamel paint system. I believe this is the second one he has tried. The first one I think he did didn't work too well, so this is a revised version, if I recall, and it sounds like he's pretty excited about it and how well it works. So we'll be doing a kind of like a time-based review. Uh, we'll do a, a control test with uh, a spoon test, more than likely, with uh, without it and with the hardener, and we'll compare over like a 24-hour period of time in 24-hour increments uh, and see how well and quickly it's dried and how hard it has dried and how it's curing. It is a 8 to 1 hardener, 8 parts paint to 1 part hardener. Real quick disclosure, Jameson sent me this bottle for free to try out. He watched the news video and saw that I wanted to try it as well as the aluminum. So sent it to me free of charge. There was no agreement made for me to do a review video. I'm doing that on my own. It also came with some pipettes, which man, I can always use pipettes, and some Dixie cup mixing cups. So with that, let's get started. So here we are at the paint booth, which you can probably tell. We're getting ready to start the test. So we'll be using Dodge Y3 Citron Yellow. It's the only gloss enamel bottle of the scale finishes I have right now currently on hand. You see on the right is the hardener, so we're going to get, mi going to get it mixed up and we'll get spraying for the test. So we're going to do about one milliliter, 0.1 milliliter. I don't know if you think you can see that. Test. One mix ratio makes eight parts to eight parts paint to one part hardener. So we'll do just under point five milliliters. Before we get started, when we're getting started, we're going to do a control and we're going to spray part of the switches yellow gloss enamel onto that spoon without the hardener. So as you can see, the time is 3.08 on February 9th. We're going to come back and check them in 24 hours. We'll come back in 24 hours and check the progress and see if the with hardener has dried quicker than the one without the hardener. So we'll see you in 24 hours. And now we're back at the bench to check out the results. And I have to say, I'm a little surprised. I was expecting a little bit of a difference, but there, there is a difference, but it's slight. So without the hardener, it's definitely still tacky. Uh, with the hardener, it's not a, as tacky, a little more smoother, uh, less resistance when moving the thumb around. But you can definitely tell the hardener is working. With these, so I did a couple spoon tests. Uh, so without the hardener, kind of damp, or not damp, but uh, still kind of sticky, if you will. A little resistance when moving the thumb around. So with the hardener, a little less resistance, uh, a little more smoother. So there is definitely working. I just don't think I got the uh, ratio correct. Let's try uh, sanding it. Let's try without the. Uh, this is just a, a to me a sanding sponge. Uh, either two thousand or three thousand grit. I don't know for sure which one. Definitely sanding well now with the hardener. Let's see how it's sand. Much difference. Yeah, much much different sanding. Less resistance. Yeah, it's definitely working, for sure. 
And we are now back at the bench to do a wrap-up, follow-up. Uh, this was kind of like it turned into a long-term uh, review. It's now uh, March 1st. Uh, we were last here on February 10th, I believe it was. So almost a month later, which is great because we'll this will now turn into kind of like a, a long-term review on how it's dried. So on the left we have the width the hardener, and on the right we have without. And there really isn't any big change on the with the hardener. It's still pretty hard like it was and uh, we first came back 24 hours later. It has dried I think a little bit more. Now the without has finally started catching up a little bit to the with with the hardener. Um, but if we do a, you know, one of our thumbs across it you can tell there's a lot more resistance over here than there is on with. Uh, and this, there's a little bit of tackiness here still when there's no tackiness here. It's nice and smooth. It feels really good. Um, and there's, but there's definitely some tackiness and stuff here on the without the hardener. So I think definitely this is uh, I, I, one that we can recommend to use uh, if you want if you want to use enamel paints and you want it to actually dry. I think this is going to work great. Uh, as we can see, it, it it is actually working. Obviously, it's hard to convey all that on video and stuff. You have to take my word for it. Uh, but it is definitely working. Definitely a huge improvement. On enamel paints so I think this definitely gonna recommend it um, and I'm sure this is gonna work well with other enamel paints I was gonna do some of that testing as well but it got cold again and I just didn't have a chance to do all that so but I have no doubts that it'll it's going to improve drying times on enamel just across the board any enamel based paint this is definitely gonna work on it so I'm definitely gonna recommend it if you want to use enamel paints want to use his enamel uh, of paints get the hardener to go with it. It'll actually make it dry is what we're finding. So I'm really impressed. It works really well. Uh, and I don't think I got the ratio right. I feel like it should be a little harder than it actually is. Uh, that 8 to 1 ratio is probably closer to like a 5 to 1 I think. 6 to 1 maybe. So um, I feel like it should be a little harder than it, than it is. So chalk that up to user error. So just make sure you get the make sure you get the uh, mix ratios right and it'll be Great, good to go. So with that, I think we're going to wrap it up. Uh, head over to scalefinishes.com. Pick yourself up a bottle of hardener if you use enamels or some just paint in general. And don't forget to use the uh, coupon code PEDENS10 at checkout and save yourself 10% on your order. So with that, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.